Hey there, welcome to my channel Code Canvas. In this video, we will learn about one of the CSS property, background origin. So, the background origin CSS property sets the background's origin either from the border start or inside the border or inside the padding. So, in this video, we will see with an example. Okay, so default value is padding box for this CSS property background origin. Okay, so first of all, let's say we have one div. Okay, and class uh, we can give some box. Okay, so we have uh, a box div and some content. This is example content. Okay, so this is a simple div. Okay, now what we can do, we can write down some CSS. Let's say width is 300 pixel and height is also 300 pixel. Okay, uh, let's start writing CSS from here so we can get better idea. Okay, for background, I'm using this background image, the hand image. Okay, for background URL and URL will be this image okay let's add some margin margin we can say 20 pixel auto so it will be centered okay let's add text align center as well font size you can add to rem color white okay so you can see all right with background image we can add background position you can give bottom or center whatever you want okay i'm i'm not giving background image i'm using background size as cover okay background repeat no repeat we don't want to repeat this image okay no repeat okay so now what else we can add one border border 10 pixel uh, dotted red so you can see here yeah, uh, not dotted we can give dashed and the value is red okay and with that let's add 20 pixel padding from all the sides okay so let me simply copy this css and Add the CSS into our CSS file. Okay, copy and paste. Okay, so let it get reload. Yep, now CSS is in place. Okay, so here let's add the property called background origin. The default value is padding box. So here there is no effect on padding box. So what exactly padding box value is? The background is positioned relative to the padding box. When you give background origin to padding box, the background is positioned relative to the padding box. Okay. So let's change it to border box and see. Did you see the difference? Let me remove this CSS. Let me so here now the background origin is border box let me change so you can see the border starts from here and yeah okay so what does border box mean the background is positioned relative to the border box you can see here is the starting of this background and when you give border box it is starting from this border okay so background origin border box is used to uh, change the value of this border the origin related to the border box okay and the last value is content box what content box means so when you give content box the background is positioned relative to the content box so here you can see the padding it is 20 pixel and when you use content box it is starting inside from this padding right 
so when you hover you can see the background is starting from this and padding is applied when you use this content box as a background origin property all right so these are the properties that you can use to position background respective to the values all right and i think uh, this property is supported by almost all the browsers and you can use it easily okay guys that's all for this video if you have any questions or any feedback you can leave your comments below also if you are new to my channel please subscribe to my channel and please share and comment okay thank you